you know what's going to happen. Thank you very much. Come on, girls. Okay, it's a quick chat. Come on, Dan, I'll have a quick chat for you. Mama, it's only looking at me. Oh, yours is good. Right, first one. You couldn't even organise. Case up in a brewery, I swear. Okay, that's what I like. I think we could organise. Right, tell us what you want. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. It's fine. Thank you. Can I have a look at them? Have they really come off? So, do you want me to stand still or do you actually want me to flip it? Get on with it. <laughs> oh, 18. You get to the floor. Make sure you come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come well done, that's a good start, Morecambe! She comes out. My name's Jenna and I'm I'm South Put Shoreline midfielder. Right. I think as the game went on we gradually got into it and I think Morecambe played the ball really well, they're passing it around very well. And the, some of their balls that they played just were fantastic. The cause they were a bit quicker off the mark, I think, in the first especially in the first half. And obviously I'm just a little bit disappointed about the fact that the floodlights didn't come on when they were supposed to. We've had to cut a game that was going pretty well for both teams short, really. So I think um, our both our defender, uh, central defenders played well today, Lois McKenna and Emily Powell. Um, I thought anything that was coming their way, they were doing really well to get in the way of at least. I thought Gemma Antrobus, who um, has only really started coming back into the team this year, she's been a bit in and out. And the first two games she started and played the whole game and she's really, really picked up on some of the stuff that we talked about in pre-season and really worked well on that. So, yeah, really pleased for Gemma as well. And obviously pleased for uh, Natalie Sessford who got the goal. Uh, that was her first goal for Shoreline. So, right, excellent. Cool. We've got Haslund the other way on Sunday, so it's quite busy at the minute. <laughs> That's two losses, unfortunately, for the first two games. So, obviously, we're going to go to Haslingdon on Sunday and, you know, we're going to fight to make sure, hopefully, that we get three points. Okay. But we're not expecting an easy ride, so... Right. Thank you very much, and we'll see you in Morecambe. OK, sure. thank right. you. Unlucky, Jenna, good play. Attack the hedges, get it away. Well done, Millsy. Here we go. Lots of pace. Let's get out. Come on, Penny. Basically, we were still struggling a little bit in a few positions. We've got a few girls, it was only their first game of the season, we've got quite a few girls struggling with injury against a very good side. Now, at the end of the day, I can only ask for 100% of my players. Did I get that? Of course I did. I always do. I'm always very proud of my players. They gave me 100%. Some of them were asked to play unfamiliar roles. I had to chop and change with a couple of girls struggling for fitness. But, you know, that's that's what this level of football is all about. And can he ask for any more from them? No. And we got our just desserts, I felt, with a lovely goal at the end. Uh, really well created and well worked, which I think we deserved. Oh, oh, run away. Oh, your son, your son, your son. Back her up, back her up, back her up. Have a look, have a look. Don't dive it, don't dive it. Good challenge, unlucky. Great ball, one Hannah. Across, one of you go across. On back, on marks on the back. Finish. Yes, she. That's a great ball. Well done, Maggot. I was, uh, I have to say, our goalkeeper Paul Meredith had a very good game uh, in defence. I thought uh, Lois McKenna particularly outstanding. Uh, Tanya Leading in midfield, Jenna McKenna, superb. 
you know, great work on the on the goal. Great ball originally by Jenna to our captain Erin Woodhouse to Nat Sesford, who's actually making a debut. She scored in her debut. Uh, playing out of position, she's actually a goalkeeper playing up front. The goal and and did a fantastic job. But in a way, it would actually be unfair for me to single anyone out because I thought every single player gave me everything and it doesn't matter what the result is uh, as long as every player gives me 100% and that's oh. all I'll ask I think once we get settled down and get a settled side I think we'll do well again I think one of the problems with this league is a lot of the uh, bigger clubs that, that use this as a, as a proving ground will drop players down and I think you know, at the end of the day we're cutting our cloth accordingly week in week out I do think sometimes we, we, we suffer a little bit from that. So I'm still confident we can finish in the top half. We just need to get a few people back from injury and just have a little bit more confidence on the ball at times because when we did play football in that game, we created some excellent chances. And I, th- I think, t- to be fair, with a little bit more composure, the scoreline would have been, would have been uh, a little closer. Right. Okay. okay, thank you very much. My name's Ryan and I'm Morecambe Ladies Reserves Manager. How did it go this evening then? I thought we played really well. Uh, Going forward we had a threat up front that we didn't have at the weekend. Overall though, really good performance, good win. I think Lottie had a fantastic game at left back. She took her winger on and got forward a lot. Superb tonight, she knew when to take people on, when to pass it, which was good. Chelsea Ainsley came on in the second half and made a big difference it's only a second game for the team so I was really proud with how she played Uh, she could have even had a goal towards the end as well we played some really good neat football well at the back Sam played really well at right back which was a bit different to her because she'd been playing left back normally and Jane and Sarah Gardner looked solid at the back together we had a couple of first teamers in tonight with the late kickoff and a long journey on a Wednesday night, it was so hard to get a team together of A teamers, and then we got a few injuries. So I thought there's a few first teamers struggling for fitness, just coming back from injury. So I thought it's a perfect chance to give them a game, and they were available. So yes, we did have a couple in, but it was needed to ensure the game got played. And what about the situation with the floodlights? That's a bit of a shambles. Edgehill University is a top-class university. Nothing to do with Southport. Uh, they seemed very disappointed with it as well. Uh, we should have kept playing, and if we did keep playing, we would have got a lot more than three. The floodlights apparently tripped last night. The fuse tripped last night, meaning they weren't working tonight. Really big disappointment, because as I say, we would have got a lot more if the floodlights were on, because we would have played a full 90 minutes rather than 70. Next week at the minute we don't have a game, I'm working on trying to get a friendly, uh, but I'm hoping that I can try and squeeze a few A-teamers into the first team squad for their Lancashire Cup game against Penwortham, who play in our league. So maybe it might be a chance for a few people to show Nick what they're all about and say I'm here and I can play in the first team if I'm needed. Okay, Yeah. thank, thank you. you very much. Why are we not working?